you there? So welcome everybody. Um, glad to have you here. I think I've met all of you, so I have a tab just in the I'm delighted to have you in my home. Um, I don't want you to feel like second class citizens. This is my guest house. My home is there. But we're trying to find a room that will give us the space that we need to stretch out. This is uh, my first film and uh, consequently my first blog or screen. And I wanted to do this because I wanted to make sure that we get many people access uh, to see the film and to, to get a dialogue started around the film before it got into the news. So as we see today, I like to pack the stereo. Thank you, too. Um, and obviously, we can't show everything live to y'all out there. Isn't it? I call it cyberspace because it ain't for me yet. Um, but we're going to show you some of it and I'll be happy to come in and pick some questions later. Um, but just very quickly before we uh, turn the TV on, because it pretty much explains itself. The movie's called Stand um, for a lot of different reasons. Now you be clear once you get a chance to see it. The runtime is about 90 minutes. As I say, it's my first film. I do radio and TV every day, as you all know. Um, but I'm always looking for um, opportunities, looking for platforms to continue to do what so many of us in this room already do, which is to tell, to, 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 to tell stories, to tell stories that are powerful, uh, to tell stories that are empowering, stories that are inspiring, stories that are informing. Uh, and so the short version of what this 90-minute story is, about the year premieres, one week from today, Sunday night, May the 24th, on TV1. Uh, TV1's been after me for a few years to do something together. Uh, but this project may set to make history against the backdrop of the 40th anniversary of the assassination of the person in my regard as we raised the American we have produced as long as since we have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So everybody's rocking the Obama King t-shirts. And I have a bunch of friends um, who I spend time with and I've been threatening for years to basically have a camera crew just kind of present, follow us around when we get together. My crew would meet them in a moment with Cornell West, uh, Dick Gregory, Michael Eric Dyson, but I thought it made, made sense for my, my soul patrol, as we call each other, to kind of get together, to, to, to situate where we found ourselves in this moment. You got Obama on the one hand, King on the other hand, and everybody, certainly in black America, is trying to properly situate themselves in what this historic moment is. So long story short, I called my boys, uh, sent everybody a plane ticket to meet me in Memphis. And that's all they knew. I said, meet me in Memphis, I'm sending you a plane ticket, Block out your schedule for like six or seven days and just trust me on this. And so either they were stupid or extremely trusting, but they all showed up and for the next you know six, seven days we hung out and moved all throughout the South. And nothing about the documentary was scripted. They did not know where they were going, what was gonna happen, who they were going to meet in many instances, as you see in the film, neither did I. Uh, but ultimately it is the story of the humanity. The intellect, the humor, the soul, the spirit of a black man, uh, and all that history uh, provided us as a platform to make this moment of Obama possible in the summer of 2008. So while it, it is a story about me and my boys, um, I think you see from the film, um, there's no way that this moment even happens without a lot of black Thank you for coming and hope you enjoy our film stand.